Now we are going to study the first chapter biology life process under that nutrition in that we are going to study a small bit that is photosynthesis now let me start with the video now for photosynthesis the main part is leaf leaf is considered to be the kitchen of the plant where it prepare the food as you see a small pore like structures these structures are called stomata which helps in exchange of gases this is the pore and the gases enter inside the cell inside the leaf and we can find numerous of parenchymatous cells along with that we can find in a cell a photo photosynthetic structure called chloroplast so this is interior part of the cell and now we can find the structure that is chloroplast this is the chloroplast where actually the green pigment chlorophyll is present the granule like structure you find on the stalks this is called chlorophyll and these stalks are called grana and the matrix is called stroma now let me know how the plant take part in photosynthesis this is root root is a main part where it absorbs the water molecules and the water enters through the xylem tissue to all parts of the plant now you see it has been reached the leaf the water is supplied to the leaf along with that as you see the leaf is absorbing the sun rays sun rays is also very essential for the photosynthesis and leaf has got a long supporting part called petiole this leaf when it is taken a section we can see this structure that is upper epidermis lower epidermis palasid parenchyma and in the palasid parenchyma we can find numerous of chloroplast which helps in photosynthesis along with that spongy parenchyma loosely arranged where it is very helpful for the exchange of gases in the center the vascular bundle has xylem and xylem has got water and that is supplied to the to the leaf now this is stomata which is present at the lower epidermis now this stomata helps in absorbing the carbon dioxide from the environment now carbon dioxide and the water are the inorganic substances very essential for the photosynthesis as you see these two materials enter the chloroplast where the photosynthesis food is prepared now in presence of sunlight the chlorophyll pigment present on the stalks of chloroplast that is grana helps in photolysis of water the first step, and it helps in preparing carbohydrates and release of oxygen food is always in a form of glucose and it is carried to the phloem in the vascular bundle and that food is supplied to all parts of the plant and oxygen is released into the environment and that is utilized by all animals for the breathing this is how the photosynthesis takes place now i am going to start the class life process first chapter in biology the life process why do molecular movement is required 
in living organisms. So this is the basic concept we have to learn in the life process. So is there any relation between the molecules with the biology? Definitely yes. So molecules are the basic components usually the living organisms are made up of. So the organisms when they grow up they become very huge like blue whale, elephant, human beings, they are such huge organisms but still they are mainly made up of molecules. So for the survival and after the death these molecules break down and degraded into the soil and once again it is utilized by the plants and again same molecules again undergo certain changes and develop as a new individual organism. So molecular movement is required in living organisms for any breakdown of the elements or combining of the elements to form a new individual everything it is because of molecular movement happens in this nature. Living organisms usually they respire, they undergo digestion, reproduction and many more life process and in order to undergo all this life process what is required? They require energy and how do they get energy? Energy is very essential for the movement of molecules definitely and energy is obtained to the heterotrophs that is animals by the autotrophs. Is there any relation between autotrophs and heterotrophs? Definitely yes. Autotrophs are all the green plants which prepare their own food. They utilize certain energy for their growth and rest of the energy is dedicated for the animals. The animals usually obtain the energy from the plants that is autotrophs. Hence they are called heterotrophs. They obtain the energy by simple method oxidation and reduction process. What is this oxidation and reduction process? Let me go with the autotrophs. The plants. The plants fix the carbon dioxide and they prepare the carbohydrates and that is called reduction process and during respiration they utilize oxygen they break down the carbon carbohydrates to release as a carbon dioxide and water and this is known as oxidation very simple we can find both the methods that is oxidation and reduction so for both the process they require energy energy is very essential so for any organism for their survival now i am going for the very important concept that is nutrition Nutrition is preparing their own food or depending on other organisms for the food and utilizing it. Meanwhile, there is energy and that will be used for different life process. Now, nutrition in plants, nutrition in animals. Now, first we are knowing the nutrition in plants. What is nutrition in plants? That is, it may be autotrophic mode of nutrition or heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Then what is autotrophic mode of nutrition? Autotrophs are 
all green plants pre prepare their own food by using inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide and water other groups they prepare their own food materials like green plants by utilizing the inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide and water now how to prepare the food they prepare the food by the process called photosynthesis Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process where, by utilizing the inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide and water, they form carbohydrates with the release of oxygen. Now, let me balance the equation of uh, photosynthesis. Just write six, twelve. Leave it here and write six. Six molecules of carbon dioxide, twelve molecules of water. It forms one molecule of glucose and releases six molecules of oxygen along with six molecules of water. This is the photosynthesis equation. So what happens in the photosynthesis? It takes place in three steps. How? The first step is, so using the sonar energy. Now how the sonar energy is utilized by using chlorophyll pigment. By using chlorophyll pigment, the solar energy is absorbed by the green plants. So, usage of light energy or solar energy. And the next step is, by using the light energy, water molecules breaks down to form oxygen and hydrogen. So, how the oxygen is released? By photolysis of water and third step is carbon dioxide converts into carbohydrates so these are the three simple steps which happens in the photosynthesis so what is essential sunlight is essential so Sunlight is absorbed by the plants with the presence of chlorophyll pigment and the water undergo photolysis to release oxygen and hydrogen and this hydrogen is utilized along with the carbon dioxide to undergo reduction to form carbohydrates.